Hello YouTubers, so on the previous video I showed you how to uh, populate a grid on another page using the session object and uh, on this video I'm going to show you how to use the query string um, it's just as straightforward so I already have the project open in here and instead of using the uh, session object in here I'm going to comment this out and let's go back to our default page and I'm going to reconfigure the data source Currently, the data source is configured for a session object, so I'm going to change that to uh, query string. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to I'm going to remove this uh, where clause. Again, keep in mind that we're working with the uh, pub ID. Um, if you're just catching this video, you have to watch the previous one to know where I'm coming from, and uh, that way you have a, a thorough understanding of the project. Again, the operator is equal. And previously we used the session. This time I'm going to use the query uh, query string. The field I'm going to call it uh, pub ID. Again, this is um, this is something that you define. And the default value I'm just going to set to zero. I'm going to add, click OK, and on the next I can test the query. Um, you can see it works just fine. So I'm going to click finish. So that's that's it for uh, default page to the ASPX. Um, what we need to do here for um, under the uh, under the CS file is that um, first of all, let's create let's create a string that contains a value. So I'm just going to call a string query string, and I'm going to say that this is equal to pub ID equal to plus drop down one dot selected value okay and you know the query string have you seen have you seen at the very top I think if you go to MSN let's go to MSN real quick MSN.com and you click somewhere that didn't work you see this this question mark keyword equals something some value that's what a, qu a query string is so we're, we're pretty much we're gonna have to mimic that uh, I'm gonna copy this really quick just right here I'm gonna copy this and close it and just right on top of it I'm just gonna put that as an example okay So whatever, right? Whatever the, the the URL is, and then article question mark news equals something. So at this point we have pub, which is this news in here. We have equal and we have a value. The value is going to be the drop down list selected value. So when we redirect to the, the other page, we also have to pass all that. So I'm gonna put a question mark in here, and I'm gonna say plus the query string. Okay. Uh, if you don't know how I did that, I simply I double clicked it to highlight. I held the control key, and you can drag. And what that does is simply copies the uh, the variable. You can you can do that with any type of text. Um, okay, I I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna put a breakpoint in here just so you can see. We can step through it before it hits the page. I'm gonna start debugging. It's gonna ask me to save, and I'm gonna uh, switch to a different vendor in here. Um, I'm gonna press F11 and inspect that query string and you can see that pub ID equals um, 0877 okay there it is and now it's going to redirect it so it's going to look for default to the SPX but it's also going to pass this question mark plus this pub equals uh, pub ID equals 0877 that's our query okay again I'm gonna press F11 and now our form comes up. Notice how the uh, notice the URL now. It's not no longer default ASPX only, but it also has the question mark pub ID equals uh, 0877. Um, you can also pass several. Um, you can pass several keys on the query string. You, it, you're not restricted to one only. Um, by default, the and sign is the one used, so you can pass, you know, uh, and 
another key equals you know some value or some number so I don't know zero 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 one and then you can pass another one and um, another two equals you know 32 whatever it is okay and and then you could you could address each one of these separately so that's pretty much it it's a short video just showing you how to um, using query string mm. if you like the video please uh, click on the uh, on the like button subscribe and don't forget to check out um, our Facebook um, group if you have any questions that's a good place to ask because um, I am not usually answering a lot of questions over there but there's a lot of people we have almost 600 people there and uh, a lot of good people answering questions so um, thank you for watching and stay tuned and uh, watch the next video bye